Hi you guys, it's me and Cholula. We wanted to start the vlog in a new place today, so welcome back. We are in very comfy clothes today. It's actually the end of the day. It's Monday evening. Cholula and I are home alone because Jared went to play frisbee golf and he brought Squirtle with him because Squirtle loves going and he hadn't been for a while, so. They went together and then me and Cholula are having some quality time. Are you just a little awkward on camera? Yeah. I don't normally start my vlogs in the nighttime, but that is just kind of what ended up happening today. But I think I'm going to take you guys on a few days in my life, maybe like two or three days in my life this week. Tomorrow I'm going to be out like just doing some appointments and errands and stuff like that. And I always like to vlog days like that where I'm kind of like out and about. Uh, but I wanted to start it tonight just because I wanted to do a few little things around the house tonight while Jared's out. I feel like I'm not normally like, I feel like when I was single, I used to always like do so much stuff at night. And now like having a partner that I live with, since usually Jared's at work or we're both at work some days, that's just like the time that we hang out and also like relax, you know, like I don't really do a lot of productive things in the evenings anymore, but not to say that I'm about to get crazy, but I wanted to decorate a shelf in here that Jared hung up for me yesterday and I just need to do some like light cleaning that I've honestly been putting off because I know in my last vlog I completely cleaned the house, but that was like nine days ago at this point and I need to do some vacuuming cleanups and stuff like it's just constant you know what I mean if, if I film I feel like it holds me accountable to doing what I said I was gonna do a little bit more so I need motivation I, I need motivation because this is the time of night that I truly just lay and I don't do anything things that I want to do I want to unpack this bag I did an overnight work trip last week and went to McCall for two days for tidy style, but I still haven't unpacked and I got home three days ago now. So I lit a candle to uh, set the vibes, set the vibes for tonight. But um, this is the shelf that Jared hung for me yesterday. We actually have two of these and I was considering doing one above each of our nightstands. And then once he held it up, it felt like way too much wood. That's all the same color. And I like wood that matches, like I like how our nightstands pretty much match our headboard, but for some reason with these being above on both sides, I was like, it's too much. Like it needs to be like another color if it was gonna be a shelf up there. So I just told Jared, just put the one of them up here. We have the other one, we can use it in another room or another area in the house. I love any sort of like shelf because it means I can decorate, it means I can store stuff on a surface. I don't know, something about a shelf. It just does it for me, guys. So I wanna decorate that at some point. I would like to get your opinion while we're in here. We don't have anything above our headboard and I actually kind of like it. We put this photo on the wall on this wall which was a little bit more plain and it felt like I was originally thinking maybe we'd put it up here and then Jared was like I feel like it's too long for this space like it would overtake the space we needed something either like wider and multiple pieces I don't know so let me know if you guys think we should put anything up here I'm kind of right now leaning towards like not putting anything and going with a more simplistic look like filling these shelves and then like we have this and it feels like enough but if you guys have any ideas for something, I don't know. I'm kind of liking the more simplistic look, like not having a bunch of pillows and not having a bunch of stuff. But I would love to hear if you guys have any input on that. It's not something I'm in a rush to do, but just while we were in here, in the bedroom. I feel like I haven't shown you in the bedroom in a while. I'm really not a good multitasker, but I'm going to try to catch up with you guys while I unpack this bag. So let's <laughs> let's see how that goes. People that can just like do one task and then like fully talk through something else. How do you do it? Just some like random life updates. I kind of feel like catching up with you guys. I have officially one month from today left in my 20s. Yep. I in one month, it's August 19th today. In one month, I'll be 30. And oh my gosh, it's like mostly, I feel like I am mostly excited like I don't feel like worried or like 
sad about it, but I do feel that nostalgia for my 20s because I'm a very nostalgic, look, I'm already getting distracted. I'm a very nostalgic person and just like knowing that I will never be 20 again or in my 20s again, I think it is something that is, you have to like accept that. And I've heard such great things about being in your 30s, I swear, like, I don't know if people just say this, but I think every person that, like, I've ever listened to reflect on, like, leaving their 20s and, like, well, more when you're in your early 30s or, like, going through your 30s or even older than that, I feel like people always, I was freaking looking for these all day. I, was, I went to the pool earlier and I was like, where the heck are these? And I didn't think they were in here, but I remember I packed them in case we went to the hot tub at the hotel and we didn't. <sighs> Getting distracted. I feel like everyone says, that it's better than your 20s that you're just more sure of yourself you're more confident you're more just everything so i do feel excited i feel like i loved my 20s they were you know there were moments and years that were confusing so much happened but i feel like my late 20s have been really nice and i do feel in my heart like i am getting more towards that energy of like just being in my 30s, 30 flirty and thriving. So yeah, that's one of my big life updates. Another one, I've been getting some questions. When am I gonna meet my niece? Guess what, you guys? I'm meeting her in just over two weeks. Two weeks and two days, even quicker when you see this video, it'll be less than two weeks. My family is going on our annual Hughes giving trip, which we take every year. We have never been to the East Coast for one of our Hughes giving trips, and this year we're going to Maine. My mom is obsessed with Maine, so she kind of was like, this would be great, especially we wanted to go somewhere this year that Megan and Finley could bring Corvidia, my niece, and like not have to have a huge, big trip flying with like a three, four month old baby. So they're gonna be able to just drive a few hours from where they live, and the rest of us will be flying in. Jared's coming, which is so exciting. He's gonna come for the entire trip, and I'm just so excited to meet my little niece. I It wasn't my plans to see her sooner. Like I really thought I would go see her like sometime in June, but once my mom kind of finalized that we were gonna be going on this family trip to Maine, Maine is already like so close to Vermont that I was just like, I cannot afford to fly to both of those places. It would be such a stretch. It's very, very expensive from Boise to fly to the Northeast. It's kind of my mom settled on Maine for the trip and that it was gonna be, I knew it was gonna be early September. So I'm like, okay, it's still in the summertime. It's not like the same as me getting to meet her, you know, when she was really small, but I know I'm gonna have to wait longer but I feel like it'll be better because she'll be like doing more things and more expressive when I meet her and I think it's gonna work out for the best. I've been FaceTiming, I've met her on FaceTime multiple times and just like catching up with her and Megan. I mean mostly catching up with Megan and then like seeing Corby and that's kind of what we've been like calling her. We don't, I don't know if it will stick but that's like one of her cute little one of her cute little nicknames. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got this. The client offered this. <laughs> I'm getting distracted on packing my bag, but the client offered this to us. She was like gonna donate it or sell it. And I just thought it was so cute. I'd never had one of these butt mugs. So I was like, I'll take it. Nobody else wanted it. So my little butt, butt mug. What else? Um, this is gonna be a fun week. Honestly, I am only scheduled to work on Friday this week. You guys know I work one to two days a week. So this week it just ended up being one day. I did request off Tuesday through Thursday. So that was probably why. Um, I have some appointments tomorrow, as I told you guys. And then Wednesday we're going to a concert and I have been looking forward to this concert for almost a year now. I'm seeing Tyler Childers. I feel like a lot of people like don't know him but he is a beautiful artist that I've never seen live before and I've really 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 gotten so deeply into his music I would say the past like year specifically and I'm so excited it's sold out so the tickets were really expensive <laughs> but I knew it was gonna be worth it and that I wanted to go so Jared is gonna go with me to that we're gonna have a little date night on Wednesday night and go to that I requested off of work on Wednesday and Thursday 
just in case we had a job go late and then on Thursday I was like I don't really want to get up early after the concert and go to work so I only have Monday and Friday open this week and I only got scheduled on Friday did I wear this no this is clean I'm trying to like divide these clothes after I go to Maine I'm going to Georgia I'm flying home with my parents I haven't been to Georgia in like a year and a half since like May of 2023 my mom wants my help. My parents are going to be doing a big bathroom renovation that my mom's literally been wanting to do for like over 10 years. Um, their bathroom has been the same since, I honestly think since they bought the house, they haven't done anything to it. It was still like carpeted and everything, which is wild. Whoever decided in their right mind to put carpet in a bathroom, any bathroom at any point in time, like, were they okay? Can, I, can somebody explain? With the water and the carpet... You're just asking for like mold, right? Anyway, you can tell I'm getting a little distracted right now, but my mom wants my help with just like picking out some things and we're gonna probably do a little bit of like shopping together and look on Pinterest and they're not gonna be doing the actual renovation when I'm there. They're doing it, I think in October, but yeah, I'm gonna go home and spend some time with my parents, see a couple of my friends, celebrate my 30th birthday with my childhood bestie, Ansley, who's also turning 30. Our birthdays are five days apart and we're gonna plan to see each other. I'm gonna see a couple of my other girlfriends that I haven't seen, yeah, since, I guess since last year, last year, I think, yeah. And I'm just very excited. September will be very nice, like, not to get, you know, dark, but like, I feel like I didn't really get to experience my vacation to the full extent that I was hoping for a few weeks ago when we went to Canada. It just, I was so upset. I got really sick three days into the trip, as you guys know, and I'm hoping this month I can have a redemption of just really getting that like relaxation time, time with my family, and September should just be a beautiful month all around. When I get back, I'll be celebrating my 30th. I feel like summer was just actually not that busy. Other than us moving, I'm like, you know, we went on like one trip, <laughs> but things are really picking up for September and you guys know I just love, I mean, I really do love being home, but I also love traveling and seeing my family every year is so important to me. Yeah, that was kind of a long spiel. I'm feeling like this might be a chatty vlog, which is because we haven't done like a Q and A in so long. I mean, it hasn't been that long, it's been a few months, but I feel like we haven't like really caught up in a little bit so I was just kind of feeling that way I was like I really want to just like be in my comfy cozies and a big t-shirt and just like catch up with you guys so I've unpacked but I haven't put it away that's the worst part right like actually having to put away all your stuff in the different areas that it goes but I think that was everything okay I need to break and put this stuff away because literally all I did that entire how long was that that I talked to you guys probably 15 minutes all I did was take everything out and put it on the bed so we're gonna speed put everything away. check out the decor closet. This is where I'm storing all of my <laughs> things that I haven't found a place for in the new house yet that all had places in the old house. So yeah, we're gonna work through this. Some of this will probably end up getting like donated or sold, but I just haven't really, like I told you guys, decorated that much yet. So I feel like I definitely wanna do some type of a vase I really like these little fake flowers. I'm not sure about the vase, but it probably would be good to add some brightness in there because I feel like, like I said, a lot of the room is like wood tones. So maybe this white vase would actually be perfect. Now the question is, should I add, I have so much of this like fluff stuff that I'm like, should I add that in there? I don't know, let's try it. 
That's kind of the vibe, right? I don't know, is it too white? More of like a spring color scheme, but I'm gonna try this. I love coffee table books. And I have this picture of me and Jared, which is actually a book of our first year of dating. Oh my God. This is the first photo. This is the night we met. The first photo we took together. Actually, this was the second night we met technically, but the first night that we re-met and a girl offered to take our photo on the street in 2020. I'm gonna pull this out so me and Jared can look at this later. Cute though, right? This was on our shelves. That's probably why I have so much decor because we had these built-in shelves in our last bedroom and it was like five shelves. So I had a lot of this decor on those and now we don't have, we do have two built-in shelves by the desk that I would like to do something to soon, but I don't know, I have so many of these like taper candles, so many, and then these little holders. I have tons of taper candle holders. I have a problem, like I had a really big moment. I still love these, like I would love to put this somewhere in the bedroom, this is super cute. When we get our dining table, I wanna do taper candles for sure, so. These will have their moment. If you don't feel super excited, about putting it out and you're just putting it out to put it out because you have it and you don't know what to do with it, is that bad? I would love to know your thoughts. Like, obviously you can tell I'm, I'm overthinking the new house to the point of like, we literally still haven't like hardly put anything up on the walls and all that for decor, but I am just getting that sense of like, if I'm not super excited about it and think it looks great, maybe I just don't use it in the house and that's not necessarily a horrible thing. Maybe I do hold on to some of it if I still really love it. I don't know. I would love to know your opinions on that kind of stuff. Like this is still like so cute to me. I probably will end up putting this somewhere in the house, but maybe it's more of like uh, in the bathroom, like a little something fun, like unexpected. I don't know. I feel like that's something too is like reinventing the pieces that you do have that you still really like. And then it kind of feels like it takes on a different life. the closest to what I want at the moment but I'm still not happy with this bottom shelf I actually really like how the top shelf turned out and I don't know what to do with the rest <laughs> I just brought these in but I feel like we need something like taller here so maybe I will but ugh, I don't know maybe I'll relook at that bring in a different I actually think maybe just this pink candle I have could look better Maybe a stack of smaller books instead of what I have going on anyway. I'm just gonna leave it for now. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect right now. We can come back to this at any time, but I do wanna decorate some stuff on the dresser as well. So it is what it is for now. Okay, now I want to put some stuff on my dresser. Once again, this doesn't mean it's the end all be all. I'm very much a person that likes to change out their decor all the time. So yeah, I already have a couple things on the dresser. As you can tell, I like to store my jewelry. And then I have this little box, which I usually keep like, well, I have jewelry that I need to go through. I forgot that was in there. Let's take that out. Um, but I usually keep like a lighter for a candle that I have out here and I don't have a candle out here right now. So I have this photo of me and Jared in this little butterfly frame that was in our guest 
room before. It could always go in there, but I don't know. I thought this was kind of pretty and kind of, I don't know. I feel like our room is where I like put more color. That looks really cute right there. I actually love that. Wonder if I could just put the vase here instead and just have my little jewelry trays still here. I would like to get, well, we do actually have a cord cover for this, but it keeps like falling. It's gonna fall off again, but just so you guys can get, get a vibe, like I prefer it like that. We haven't done the whole cord through the wall. Okay, this is what I'm settling on for the night. My camera is about to die, so I think I'm done decorating for the night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hi, you guys. It is Tuesday, and I have already had a, not necessarily a busy day, but we've already been out and about. I took Squirtle to his groomer appointment. You guys know this, but he usually goes like once a month. And then I came home and power showered so that I could power dry my hair and power fake tan. And I did it all in less than an hour, which is pretty good for me. Okay, that's pretty good for me. I take very long showers, not intentional, it just happens. But anyway, I need to leave in three minutes, but I wanted to chat with you guys before. I'm going out to get my nails done in uh, about an hour, but before that, I'm going to try to stop by the YMCA in Boise and actually cancel my membership. I've had my membership since 2018 when I moved here and I've actually loved it. Like that's how I discovered Kim's cycling class and made my friend Kim. And yeah, I used to go to more classes and I used to sometimes like go to the actual gym and just like over the past, I don't know, year ish, um, I haven't been really going very often and it was getting to the point where I was only going like maybe maybe once a month to Kim's class because she only teaches at that location closer to where I used to live and that was the only reason I was going because I love her and I love her class so if any of you guys like live in Boise I highly recommend the downtown Boise YMCA for Kim's class. Just, I have had my membership on pause this summer because once we moved here, there is a closer YMCA to here, but I just know that even if I was to like join that gym, I wouldn't use it enough because Kim doesn't teach there. So I don't need to have that membership. I will say it was really affordable. Whenever I joined, it was like, I think it was right around $28 a month. Now I pay like 36. It's gone up a little bit over the past couple of years, but they sent me, a, I have to tell you guys about this later because I'm going to be late, but they sent me a letter that I'm turning 30 being like, happy birthday, your membership is gonna increase by like, I think it was like over $15 a month. And they were like, if you don't want to like continue with your membership, you have to like come in physically and like cancel at the front desk. So I just decided like, I don't wanna pay 50 plus dollars a month, obviously for something that I'm not using. So I haven't been paying the past few months, basically. Like I told you, my membership's been on pause, but we need to go, sorry, this was, I try to be like short and then I just go off on a whole tangent, but we're gonna go and, do that and I will still see Kim. I'm seeing her tomorrow actually um, at a concert. So very excited about that. Sometimes you feel inclined to stay at something or like spend your money on something maybe because of an instructor you love or a friend or something, but if it's not completely worth it, not only financially, but just in all aspects, maybe look at that. And this has been something that I've kind of been like toying with the idea of like canceling my membership for like, <laughs> probably like since the beginning of the year. So it's time to just do it. And I don't need to be sad about it. I had a great experience and I can always, if in the future I wanna go back and join the Y that's closer to our new house, I can always do that. They've given me such a great experience and I have nothing negative to say, I just don't need to be paying for that if i'm not using it obviously so we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna get our nails done fingers and toes today so i will be there for a little while you guys ever have those days driving where you're just like are people okay like are are people on the road all right because i have definitely had one of those days and granted i've made some mistakes while driving of course over the years we all have but just a series of events so 
I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys. So this morning when I was on the freeway, you know, actually I was merging onto the freeway. So I was in the far right lane and the merge was over, but the lane on the far right merges at a certain point. Once you get on the highway, it ends, the lane ends and it merges into the next lane. So I'm just chilling, realizing, okay, the lane's gonna end soon-ish starting to get over. Meanwhile, the person directly behind me is speeding up, I swear to God, to like over 90 miles an hour in the far right lane on the highway. So literally like trying to run me off the road. If I, like where would I have gone? Because there's no lane, the lane is ending and you're coming up on me like this. So where am I supposed to go? You're literally trying to run me off the road. I just don't understand people. Like there's a clear sign that says the lanes are merging. Why? Like I think they were trying to pass me, I guess, cause they wanted to go faster than me and they wanted to like get in the lane before me. But that's not the best time to speed up to 90 miles an hour when somebody in front of you's lane is going to end. So that was this morning. And then on my way here, I'm on a one-way road here that has five lanes. So everyone goes the same direction. And I was cruising through, I was, I was actually in the middle lane. I was in lane three, two lanes here, two lanes here. And I am just cruising through, I'm going about let's say 35, 40 miles an hour and cruising through and I am about to pass through a light that was still green when all of a sudden a car darts out to cross, I am not kidding you, to cross. They come out of like a parking lot on this side, so five lanes, they come out here to cross five lanes over so that they can make a left turn while the light, before the light turned red. So while they're doing that, my light turns yellow and I have to stop. And this person is directly in front of me crossing five freaking lanes over, okay? So you can imagine how that ended. Slam on my brakes, just like, what is going on? I'm one of those people that I never, ever, ever, ever honk my horn, even when I should. Like, obviously in that moment I should have honked my horn, but I hate when people honk their horn and I think it's, I always think they're honking at me. Let me know if you have this, if you share this irrational fear, like, Anytime I hear a horn honk, even if it's not right around my car, I assume that I'm getting honked at and I take it personally. That's just the way I've always been. So I don't honk my horn. Maybe if I was, I would honk my horn if we were at a light that turned green and the person hadn't gone for like six seconds. I'm pretty generous, I never honk my horn, but I would honk it at that point, the quick little like, hey, the light's green. Like, I feel like that's fine, but I don't just like slam on the horn ever because I hate when people do that and it's unnecessary and I hate when people like I said so that was a situation I probably should have honked because that was insane and we could have honestly if I feel like I'm a very good reactive driver like I can slam on my brakes really fast if I have to but if I had been looking down like that car I could have easily crashed into that car because that is just such a stupid decision to try and car anyway obviously I'm ranting I need to go into my nail appointment I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I think it's gonna be simple. I've really been liking simple nails. I haven't been doing nail art. I don't know why, I'm just like not into it right now. So I have no idea what I'm gonna get. I'm thinking like maybe like a light pink, which is obviously like very basic, but yeah. I have a coffee, I'm going in. I need to release my road rage and not take it in with me to my nail appointment, but it's just one of those days where you're like, can we all like collectively as drivers be a little safer? Let's not do such stupid things, you know what I mean? Let's be a little nicer to people, okay? I feel like I'm always getting my nails done on the vlog. I'm always vlogging on a day that I get my nails done. I really only go to get these done every like two and a half weeks and then I only get my toes done honestly once every like three months, which probably isn't enough, but the gel toes just last a long time. Like you can kind of let them grow out, grow out a little bit. So I don't like spending a ton of money on getting my toes done, but I like having the gel polish on cause it's just like done and they look presentable, especially for the summertime. But anyway, I just went so basic today. Like I feel like so boring with my nails recently. Like they were nude. And then the last like three times I've gotten them done, I've gotten really light colors. I really have not been doing any crazy summer stuff, but you can barely, you can probably barely even see them. 
in this light, but they are seriously just like a sheer light pink. We did layer two colors if, you know, I, I got crazy in that way, but no, I really like them though. I've just been liking the clean look and I've really been kind of going for those colors, but probably next time I come, I'm gonna get some sort of fun color to like end off summer. I did get kind of a fun color on my toes. It's definitely still neutral, but it's a lot darker, but obviously I'm not gonna show you my toes. It is only 3.30. I thought that I would be done later, so this is great. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my afternoon, but I'm excited to <laughs> do something. I just vacuumed pretty much the whole house really needed to be done and I'm doing some laundry and I was listening to the newest episode of pretty or sorry basically unfiltered I came in the second bedroom because I wanted to give you guys a little update I feel like I have been talking about a lot of like house things and I know I have <laughs> not I feel like I have I've been talking about a lot of house things in the recent vlogs just because it's like very on my mind right now and we have been like ordering stuff and things are gonna start coming a lot more together very soon because I forgot to tell you guys this, but tomorrow, tomorrow we are getting our sectional delivered for the living room, which is very exciting. We have our couch that's currently in the living room listed on Facebook Marketplace, however, <laughs> We've gotten no interest. I think I probably priced it too high for like what it is. I thought it would be really helpful to actually get you guys' this opinion because sometimes I feel like when you're selling your own furniture or just anything, you are thinking about how much you paid for it and thinking of it in that like brand new condition, which this couch is not. It definitely um, has some, what's the word? I'll insert some photos while I'm talking of it that we took the other day, but it has like cracking in the fake leather, which is really unfortunate that just happened a few months ago. The actual like big main cushion of the couch is kind of like darker than the rest of like the couch and the pillows. You can probably also tell in these photos. And that just happened from like the sun and like it happened naturally with the vegan leather. If you were looking at this couch on Facebook Marketplace, what would you actually like pay for a couch like this? I guess it's hard to ask because some people this isn't going to be their style so they wouldn't want to pay for it, right? But like I guess if you're experienced with Facebook Marketplace, let me know what you think a fair price for the couch is because I'm kind of like... Like obviously we're just gonna like keep decreasing the price until someone gets it, but I'm kind of like, what is fair? And I will put in the total cost if you were to get the sofa plus the ottoman right now on their website. So take that into account, but also like the condition of the couch. But in other news, we're in the second bedroom because we did have some updates that I wanted to share with you guys. I have been saying and saying and saying that we were gonna do a sleeper sofa in here and that was the plan. However, something we didn't take into account was measuring the doorway and being able to actually fit a couch in here. We got to the point of picking out the couch, finding one that was the perfect dimensions because it has to be small. It has to be a full size instead of a queen size to like fit on this wall and not look really crammed with like the closet and everything. It's gonna be over on this wall. It was gonna be over on this wall. We got to the process, I was looking at stuff for like two or three months and then finally we were gonna buy it and we went to look in stores this weekend. We found it, the delivery date was perfect. There was gonna be, yeah, it was just a great price. I was so happy and then bam, my world crumbled <laughs> when the man told us to make sure our doorway to the room that it was going in was at least 36 inches wide. We knew that likely our tiny door to this tiny bedroom was probably not going to be, but yet, alas, we came home and measured that day and it was 30 inches. So there's no way that you could fit a couch unless, like for example, we think we're gonna be able to fit our current couch once like we get the sectional in tomorrow. The old couch, we'll still have to store it in here until it sells. So we're gonna bring it in here and that actually we think will fit. Hopefully, I'm actually like, I don't know for sure. We'll find that out tomorrow or tonight, I guess. We'll probably try and move it in here tonight. Anyway, um, you can remove the legs 
and it's not that tall but yeah we encountered some issues and it's just like something that I was obviously frustrated but I was so glad that he said that before we actually got to the point of like paying and obviously if we Jared and I just didn't think about that like we I guess I've never put a, like thinking about it I'm like have I ever actually put like a full couch in a smaller room that doesn't just like walk through the front door so anyway it just wouldn't have fit and there wasn't really a point in looking for more like most couches have stand especially these sleeper sofas they have to be a certain like width and it just wasn't gonna work we didn't really think we were gonna keep looking because it was probably just gonna be frustrating and I've already been looking for two to three months so then I was like what the heck are we gonna do because our whole point of like selling our guest room bed before moving here was that it took up the entire guest room and we rarely even ever have guests like we probably have guests actually stay here for like a night or longer one to two times a year so we were like all right what are we gonna do i'll just tell you what we ended on because we went back and forth with several ideas of like a murphy bed you know possibly like a smaller couch like i said but then it's like you want it to be comfortable because we're not even going to have it pulled out most of the time so like i still want it to be comfortable i don't want it to be like a futon that just isn't that comfortable what we decided on i'll insert a photo of it i actually think it's really cute and it's basically this like day bed that has a twin mattress and we're gonna load it up with pillows it's gonna be super cozy and it's still gonna go on this wall and it's gonna be function as as a couch and then it has this like trundle that you can pull out another twin size mattress but then it pops up so it's like the mattress the two twin mattresses go together and then it creates the same size bed as a king so it's perfect because if we just have one person stay over maybe they don't want to pull it out or maybe they're comfortable just on the day bed that's great but if we have like a couple stay or multiple people stay you can expand it into the king and then you get you know you're gonna have a crack in the middle but you know you'll get like the two the two beds or like the bigger bed so that's what we decided on i actually feel like it's really cute we'll have to see how it looks in person but that should be coming hopefully next week i'll definitely put it together probably with you guys well jared will put it together so that's kind of an update on in here i am like really antsy to like get stuff in here just because we've already lived here for over two months and the only thing we've done with this room was use it as like storage which is fine it's obviously been so helpful to like have we have so much stuff loaded up in this closet but like it'll be nice to really get this room set up i can't remember if i've asked you guys what you think we should put above here but let me know any any thoughts we're also getting a piece of furniture delivered next week and then tomorrow the mattresses are coming for in here and it's just like all really starting to come together it's taken a while because i've said this a million times but we've been like strictly on a budget so we're not spending thousands of dollars at once on furnishing this home. Jared also ordered a really long bookshelf for this wall. This isn't the most exciting package in the world. Um, and I'm like not even on camera anymore, but we did get, I had to order two twin mattresses for the bed. <laughs> they actually were like pretty affordable. You can order like a two pack. I just got them on Amazon. Cause it was like the most affordable and the best reviews. So anyway, I ordered those. Those are coming tomorrow. And then I ordered these to go with it. These are some twin sheet sets from, of course, Target. I got the Threshold brand. I love this brand. I got the Jersey twin sheet set. I got two of them. And they were only like 25 bucks each, which I feel like is pretty good. And they had really good reviews. I don't have much more exciting things to report for the night. I'm honestly just going to do our laundry, which I know you guys have seen me do a million times, so I'm probably not going to film it. But I have done a ton of our laundry, but I actually need to put it away. And that's my least favorite part. I always just watch something. I'm probably going to catch up on The Bachelorette. Hi, you guys. It's Wednesday. I am vlogging at the wheel. But don't worry. We've got two hands on the wheel. It's been 
a morning. We've had, in our side yard, apparently our neighbor's air conditioning and like heating unit is in our side yard, which makes absolutely zero sense to me why they wouldn't just put it in their side yard, but I don't really understand the logistics of that. And not exaggerating, four days out of the past week, these two men have come by and they've been like working on it and just spending hours in our side yard and the dogs have been going insane because they don't know what is going on and they don't know who these two men are and I need to get up the courage to just talk to them today and just be like, I'm not gonna be mean, I'm just gonna be like, hey, like, you know, it's been a few days of you guys like coming into our yard and um, they never knocked on our door or anything. They just went in because the gate technically is open but no one's ever gone in it besides us. Anyway, um, I don't really know what's going on there, but I really need to, <laughs> basically I'm going out for a few, hour, few hours. And if they're still there by the time I get back, I will be speaking with them. Slash, if they come back tomorrow or any other day, I need to talk to them. I need to get up the courage because neither Jared and I have done it. Cause like, yes, they're just, they're just doing their job. But like, why didn't you guys tell us that you were gonna be in our side yard angering our dogs and our dogs can't go to the bathroom out there when you guys are out there so it's like a whole thing for four days anyway i'm headed to pilates and then i think i'm gonna take myself i'm gonna take myself and my laptop and go to panera i think i want to do some editing outside of the house just because like i said i feel like those guys are still going to be there and the dogs are just beside themselves because we've pulled down like all the little window blinds that we can but the main <laughs> doors the big windows to the side yard we don't have any curtains on them because we're not gonna put curtains on them it just is doors obviously to our side yard so they're just you know very upset about that I'm very excited for today the concert is tonight I told you guys I've legitimately been looking forward to this for <laughs> It feels like a year. Oh, and I'm probably gonna put this in when I'm editing when I was talking about it yesterday, but we are not getting our sectional today, which is unfortunate because they didn't tell us all that, what they had told Jared was like, it's, they contacted us last week and we're like, we can do a del delivery date on Wednesday the 21st if you guys are available and we said yes. So I planned to just, to just like see what the delivery window was and be home during that time and then yesterday they were supposed to contact us and text us with a delivery time for today and they never did so I, we were asking the guy that sold us the sectional because we have his number and he was like listen you guys can reach out to me for anything no matter what time it is so we basically went back and forth with him and he was like okay I'm in a meeting right now but call customer service and they'll be able to help you so we did and they were like oh yeah we're gonna need to like delay this until either Friday or Saturday which I'm not I'm not too bothered obviously I wish they had like told us that it worked out totally fine like we're hopefully gonna get it on Saturday I don't want to keep saying 100% because I don't I don't know, but we set up a delivery for this Saturday because I'm working on Friday. But yeah, I think it actually worked out for the best because now I don't have to worry about being home for all day when these guys are coming. We are back. I was there for a little over an hour. I had to cut myself off. I said, I will stay until 2.30. I got there at like 1.20. I wanna be able to go home, let my doggies out and not be, I'm, I feel like I'm always in a hurry when I'm like getting ready for any sort of like going out event concert. Like I'm always rushing myself and I really like to take my time. So it is a little bit absurd that I'm probably gonna start getting ready at like 3.15 p.m for a concert, but I think I was telling you guys, we have to get there early because we're gonna do the GA lawn seats and it's like completely sold out. So we gotta get our spot, you know what I mean? I wanna get a drink. I already know I'm gonna have to pee because I have a very overactive bladder the size of a sprinkle. So, you know, anytime there's a drop of alcohol, I pee like every 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I haven't been to a concert in forever either. Like I genuinely don't even remember the last concert I went to it might have been like a year I genuinely don't know if I've been to a concert this year that's crazy that's crazy unless I'm just forgetting 
that's wild. I might have not been to a concert in a year since Beyonce last year. I'm probably forgetting something. Um, honestly, guys, working at Panera, I'm just gonna re reshare this. My friend Marissa told me about it. This is not an original thought, <laughs> but it's kind of a vibe because people are in and out. People usually don't stay for that long, whereas if you're working at a coffee shop, I feel like people come and there's a bunch of people there for like two to four hours working and it's getting get really crowded and then you only get your one drink right i mean unless maybe you're getting like the drip coffee which i've never ordered in my life from a coffee shop so i don't know if you get free refills of that but at panera you can get free refills of your drink i just mixed lemonade and unsweetened iced tea a classic arnold palmer and then i got the you pick too i really like the chicken chipotle sandwich that they have and i get that for my half and then i just get whatever salad i'm feeling in the moment i will say i do feel like the food at panera has actually like gone downhill over the years or maybe my tastes have just changed like i'm not expecting a gourmet meal when i go i know what i'm getting i know i'm gonna be overpaying a little bit for my two items but then they give you that you know i forgot i had this they give you the little loaf of bread on the side i couldn't eat that because i had a full sandwich with bread already so i'm bringing home that what, what was i gonna do leave it there i put it in my bag and i left obviously i really recommend working at panera it's not that crowded like i said people are in and out and i like to actually have a meal when i'm working if i just go to a coffee shop for like three hours I'm starving, I'm cold because I'm just drinking this like cold drink. I need to have something like, what's the word? Substantial going on. So I highly recommend checking out your local Panera specifically for working. Even if you just went and ordered a drink or you got a coffee from Panera, it would be a total vibe. I think I might do that the next time I go, even though I just said that I need something substantial. Sometimes you don't wanna pay $18 for a you pick two and a drink, right? Inflation. I just finished listening to the newest episode of Ride. I know I talk about it all the time, but I highly recommend the podcast Ride. I'm completely obsessed. So I'm running out of podcasts. My weekly podcasts are really like dwindling. Like I've already listened to basically all of them. So I'm probably just gonna listen to music on the way home. Hey guys, I wanted to do a little bit more of a get ready with me, but classic. I was just in the zone getting ready. And then all of a sudden it's 4.55. I wanted to leave at five, so I'm just gonna show you my outfit, which is very simple. I was so sad, my newly is on its way. And I really thought it was gonna be here because I ordered it last Thursday. I thought it was gonna be here today. And I would get to like wear a cute little skirt and a cute little top that I rented. Not specifically for the concert, but I just was hoping I could wear it there. But it is not arriving till tomorrow. So it's not the end of the world. I just I feel like I don't have as many like pieces that I'm super excited about in my closet, but I just kept it really simple. I did my pink and white boots. These are from Boot Barn. Obviously it's a country folk Americana type concert. So I had to wear the boots. And then I just kept it very, very, very simple because I picked my outfit a little bit last minute today. So this is from Aritzia. I actually don't think I've worn it since I bought it. Maybe once, which is kind of sad. And then my jean shorts are from Levi's and they're the ones that don't have the five buttons because I'm gonna be peeing. One thing about me is I'm gonna be peeing at the concert, unfortunately. So kept it easy with the zipper. And that is literally it. I did kind of step out with the makeup and the hair. Well, mostly the makeup. I spent, I honestly probably spent like an hour on my makeup because I was just like watching YouTube. But I feel like it looks so good. I haven't done like a full, this is like a full face for me. I haven't done this in a while. Some little strawberry earrings, a little gold necklace. I used my like lo very loose one and a half inch hair thingy to just get loose waves. And I'm feeling good. So I'm definitely going to record a few things on my phone. I'll record a few songs. I know people don't love concert footage in vlogs. It's definitely different when you're in the moment and you're there, but I'll record, I'll try to record a, a few little bits of some of my favorite songs. It's the next day. I've been editing the rest of this vlog 
and I just wanted to put in this little end clip. So the concert was really fun. Um, I got to see Kim. I got to see actually Jared's sister ended up coming. So that was kind of a surprise. We got to see her and the girl that does my hair was there, which I didn't know she was going to be there. So I ended up running into some people, which was always fun. We were in the lawn, which is like all the way kind of in the back. Cause like, I don't want to be in seats for like a country type concert. So we were in the lawn. Um, and then we wanted to be kind of like up on, like, it's not like a hill, but it's like a little bit elevated. So we could like see better from back there, but we were quite like far away. Well, maybe we couldn't see better, but you know what I mean? We weren't like, people weren't like directly in front of us. I feel like if we were a little closer, we could have kind of like been in it a little bit more, but I, I feel like I could hear everything really good. I just couldn't see that good because they don't have like screens at this venue. So it was kind of just like. I knew that the band was on the screen, but was, they looked like tiny little ants, <laughs> you know, like we were that far back and like those screens really help you to kind of like see what's going on. So I feel like that venue needs to improve on that. But other than that, I do love that venue. It's very open and it was such a nice night. The weather felt amazing, honestly. The last thing I wanted to say in this video was just, I wanted to update that I did talk to the guys that were working in our side yard. I, I got up the courage to talk to them yesterday um and they basically had said that they were supposed to be done with whatever they were doing which i'm guessing is like probably fixing our neighbor's ac but they said that they've been like on hold with their tech support something is going on with whatever they're trying to fix you know i don't know any of this stuff but they apologized to me they were like i know we're so sorry we've been like taking over your side yard and your dogs have been like barking and stuff and i was like yeah i'm sorry they just you know they don't know who you guys are and whatever so they didn't come back today and it's like two o'clock. They haven't been here today. So I don't know. I don't know if they'll be back. They said the reason it's been delayed is because like every day they've had to call their tech support and they've been on hold for like two hours. I don't know what's going on with that, but hopefully it'll be done soon. I did just want to like update on that because I did mention it in this vlog. Anyway, I need to end off this vlog. I know this like was quite a chatty vlog. Let me know if you guys liked that. I feel like I hadn't done one in a while and I guess I just had a lot to say. So we caught up in this vlog. If you liked this like chatty style vlog, give it a like uh, down below to let me know. Leave me a comment. I would love to chat with you in the comments. You can check out my Patreon. I will have a sesh video up there probably within this next week. I have a lot to update on and I actually have a story to share. A bit of a story time sesh is going to be up on my Patreon in the next like week. So I'll have that on the screen and it's always the first link in the description box. Thank you for watching as always and I will see you guys next time.